Hi, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the new Sea of Thieves games. Uh, we have two ways that we can improve the, the FPS on this game. First of all, we have some in-game settings that will show you uh, what to change to get more uh, performance. And also we have a config file that uh, we can change uh, more options that are not available in the game. It's kind of weird. I feel like the game right now is just a port from the Xbox game, but you have more options that you can change in the config setting. And I hope they will show it sometimes uh, on future patch, maybe uh, in your uh, graphic settings. But anyway, I will show you how to do it. So first of all, make sure that VSync is at off, frame rate lock off, and your performance counter is at FPS, so you can have more than 60 FPS, and you can monitor how many FPS you have to to see what you are doing, are you correct or not. Uh, also, I saw right now a weird thing in display mode. When I was playing in window mode, I got 5 FPS more than my full screen. So a bit weird. I don't know if they have some kind of bug right now, but probably they will fix it. So if you're struggling to have your 60, play in window mode. Resolution limit. For sure, if after all my tricks, you're still getting like 20 or 30 FPS, don't play in full HD. Play in 720p, something like that. Just lower the resolution. Graphic setting, the first one that you need to change is shadow detail. This one, put it at curse. Curse, it's like the low. Okay, so mythical is the higher one. Low is curse. So for each bracket, you will gain 2 to 3 FPS. This one, really important. And shadow, for me, it's not uh, something important in the game. So you will gain a lot of resources. Uh, you, you will gain back a lot of resources when you lower uh, this one. Model detail is not something that I see a lot of improvement for my M uh, FPS. Uh, for sure, if you have a laptop or N3 uh, PC, uh, go with rare, okay? Don't put it at mythical, but uh, I didn't see any nice improvement over there. Texture, texture is based on your VRAM on your video card. So if you have more than four gig, go with mythical or legendary. Honestly, you will not see an increase of FPS, so just put it there. If you have a video card with one or two gig, make sure that you're playing common or curse. Uh, water detail. This one you can gain a lot of FPS with it, but the problem is in this game is like you see a lot of water and it's kind of the purpose of the game, so you don't want to lower this one too much. Uh, so you should try rare uh, because when you play cursed, honestly, it's just like a blue flat water without any like nice effect in it. So for me, it's not something that uh, I recommend. Uh, try rare and after that try all the options that I will show you in the uh, config setting and if you still struggle for sure you will need to lower this one Lightning detail. I didn't see a big improvement for each bracket on my FPS, but I saw uh, a better um, Consistent FPS when I was like I'm fighting and I I don't know I have a lot of lighting effect when I'm doing whatever uh, whatever I'm doing uh, you will see more like consistent FPS. So uh, when I was playing mythical, sometimes I got like some random 8 to 10 FPS drop. And when I put it at rare, honestly, I don't see those drops. So it's more to, to keep uh, a nice stable FPS uh, for this one. So that's about it for the in-game setting. We will go in the config file. To see the config file, you will need to go to your main drive, the name of your computer uh, here. Uh, app data, local, packages, Microsoft, Sea of Thieves. Local state, Athena, save config, and UWP64. Open the game user setting here, okay? And it will give you this. So in this, all this section is the section that you can edit inside of the game. Make sure also that smooth FPS is at true. Sometimes I saw it at false, and it's kind of weird. And when you put it at true, you will see that your FPS are really more smooth. Okay, so this one is more like what you change in the game. The new part is there. So this one, you can't really change it in the game. You don't have those options. Uh, so we will start with the first one. Resolution cal quality scaling here. Uh, you can put it at 95 or 90. This it should be your last resort because you will see that it decreases like crazy your image quality. Honestly, under 90, it's not playable. And even 90, I don't really like it. The game is kind of blurry and you will see a bit of a pixel. So if you're really in bad shape to get your 60 FPS, you should try 95 here. View distance quality, this one really important is the view distance in the game. Really nice feature, you should play at 2, you will gain 4 to 5 FPS, a pretty nice increase. 
don't go too low here because for sure uh, you want to see both in front of you honestly i saw uh, one of my friends play a sea of thief on the xbox i'm pretty sure the, the xbox is running at two or even one because i feel like the game was really blurry when you try to to look uh, forward uh so yeah this one can gain you a lot of fps same thing with anti always in quality just test two or one don't go at zero because you will feel like the game looks like shit and i feel like one or two is probably fx aa uh, the type of effect so just to to know that you you, you have some kind of anti aliasing shadow quality put this one as zero uh you so you will lower the uh, the resolution of the shadow in the game and stuff you will gain again four to five fps with this one pretty nice chunk so make sure that you are at zero here post processing quality honestly i didn't see a big improvement there three to two maybe two fps so just put it put it at two just do test with it it's kind of weird on that and my amd card i got more fps than my nvidia card for this one not too sure why texture quality uh stay at three don't touch it like i said if you have a pretty uh like you have more than four gig or even three gig of vram you should be fine and the last one is the effects quality this one put it at one because i saw when you fight uh like with your canon or your gun and stuff like that honestly I, I saw a nice improvement over there uh for sure you will lose some effect you can test maybe two to make sure that because you want to keep some uh, nice graphic but you will see that when you're fighting you will get more uh, uh, stable fps so that's about it guys if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig so cpu gpu and uh, ram and uh, I will try to help the best that I can. Also, don't forget to save this, okay? Right now, I'm not gonna save it. And also, lock the file. So right-click on it, Properties, Read Only, and press OK, okay? So this will lock this file because those settings are not in the game, and I'm pretty sure if you don't lock the file, the game will override it and it will put back at default, okay? So that's about it, guys. If uh, Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace!